I am Stefano. And I'm Sasha. And we are traveling in our self converted shuttle bus. we are showing you how we built our shuttle bus subfloor using 3x1s and foam insulation. We used our 3x1 timber to divide the floor in pretty even sections. We made sure the sections were small enough that when we place the plywood subfloor on top, there's no giving or swaying in the floor and we secured the 3 by ones to the floor of the bus with just normal wood screws. We pre-drilled every hole first. Okay, it is day two slash five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Stefano is not coming on camera, he's broken. We're exhausted. Um, yesterday we did the floor, we did half of the subfloor, so we framed everything out to put the insulation in the frame and then we're going to put the plywood on top of the insulation for the subfloor and then we'll put our laminate or wood flooring on top of that. So that should have taken like three hours but it took all day. So we've done all that and now today I'm cutting the insulation. We have, we bought half inch insulation. Um, these frames are three by one. So we saw the one inch insulation and it looked a bit too thick and it didn't have three quarter, I think. So we went with half. So we're gonna cut a couple pieces out and see how it goes. Apparently the floor insulation is kind of the least important insulation in the bus. The roof is really important because where we're going to be, it's gonna be hot all the time. So we'll go thicker on the roof, thicker, maybe thicker on the walls but the floor we're keeping pretty basic. There's also ply and rubber under there. So we think half inch will be. Okay, so I'm gonna do all those measurements today and hope that they are accurate. So I'm just doing it like one section at a time, the back section, because they're all different measurements because we just, ideally they would be the same measurement, but we couldn't figure out how to do that when we were putting the framing in. Nothing was even. So I'm doing four at a time. Our first piece. Let's see if it fits. Kind of this corner. We are using this half inch poly insulation and it actually fits perfectly with our one inch framing for the floor. So we did good. We're just finishing the last of our insulation. Do you want to do the honors baby? We're getting better at doing accurate measurements. Oh, cool. This one has to be a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a you problem. Good work. A little bit more to go. We need a knife.
It's the end of our first week of our builds and we thought we would be a lot further along, but we have a floor, which we're pretty excited about. So we've got our timber frame subfloor, our insulation. This is our plywood subfloor and then we've put gap filler in to help with any air leaks. Apparently no matter what insulation you use, if you don't fill the leaks and the holes and the spots, your insulation's not gonna work very well. So we filled all of those. What size is this baby? Three quarter inch? Or like 1532 or something? We don't know. There was two sizes, a thinner and a thicker one. We went with a thicker one so there's not like swaying, like it doesn't give. And we're pretty happy with that because we wouldn't have wanted to go any thinner. We've done the entryway near the door as well as the stairs. And then this along the stairs here will be, I don't know if I want to tile it yet or put some kind of wall paneling. And we're gonna have the rest of the day off and go to the beach. I think it's like 3 p.m. or something. So not bad for a day. Do you have anything wise to say, baby? No, I'm happy with what we've done so far. Hopefully uh, it's gonna get small as Yes. Yeah. We're not even 2% sure about it. We have to remove this. And um, I'm worried because we, Stefano took this heater fan off the base. And I was worried about it. He was like, it's fine. And he actually drained all of the coolant from the bus. So we cannot drive the bus right now to go pick up like materials and stuff. We're having to take the car. Um, which means we can't pick up as much stuff. So we're hoping that since there's no coolant left in the bus, removing this will be safer. But uh, I'm not convinced. 